my name is Martin. Welcome to the new Weaselwood project. In today's episode we have followed along our shop improvement series. This is going to be part 2 where we continue with our walls for our storage room. In the part 1 we already made the framework. Today's episode we are going to make the planking with the OSBs. Now let's get started. First of all I had to move my drill press out of the way. I need to find another place for this thing. It's a bit uncomfortable if the handles are inside the wall, but that's another story. I took the first measurement and set my saw to half the angle of the corner, in this case about 30 degrees. For the planking itself I used some 15mm OSB plates. I like the look of them in my workshop. And then there's a first problem. Let me tell you, if you plan and build a workshop in the end it's always too small. So let me quick move some crap out of the way. The first plate is cut and I put some spacers underneath to mount it with a bit of distance to the floor. For now I just fixed it with some screws, later on I will mount it proper. I started the second row with the rest of the first plate, so I set my saw back to 90 degrees and removed the bevel of the first cut. A bit of glue to make the tongue and groove connection more rigid and a few screws and that's it. I took the measurement of the next plate and again cut it with 30 degrees bevel to close the corner. And again some glue and screws. Basically I wouldn't recommend to hit the lamp with a OSB plate, but when it happens, don't worry. As long as the thing won't hit your head, no problem. 
clip it back on, nobody noticed. First impressions already looked like a storage room. You could think that somebody planned this. I took the measurements for the last row on this side. This one was a bit tricky, because I had to cut it lengthwise in half. So I set up the width fence and removed the cross cut fence. Then I put the cross cut fence back and cut the piece to length. The cable duct is going along in the corner, so I had to cut a notch out of this plate. No project is finished as long as you haven't used your jigsaw. Again some glue and screws and this time I haven't even touched the light. Did I mention that sometimes the shop is too small? Two options. Number one, go crazy and move the table saw around. 
Or, what I decided to do, give the handsaw and the guiding rail a shot. The 2.5 meter OSB plates are a bit bulky if your hobby workshop isn't a production hall. I had to remove the tongue of this plate. On this wall I started at the top with the planking. With the gap for the door in the middle of the wall it is easier to start at the top with the whole plate and then work down. So there are no worries that the height of the joints will match. For ease of assembly I used two screws to rest the plate on. That gave me a free hand to mount it. Always use your level for the first plate. Then the rest will level itself. The last few plates were just repetitive steps and voila, the wall is almost done. Just a bit of time lapse screwing action and the wall is rigid as a tank. For the last task I prepared my router with a flush mill with ball bearing to cut out the doorway. And now to the dirty part. Dusty but always fun.
Well guys, the Vault Power Storage Room are done now. It worked out pretty well, at least in my opinion. The next steps are to reinstall the light inside, put the light switch and some power sockets around. Um, after that we are going to build some shelves inside to, for storage and we are going to build and install a door. Never built a door before, but ah, as good time as any to learn. So, uh, I hope you see, I see you in the next videos. I hope you liked this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you do like it. And support me with a subscription. And have a nice day. Bye.